Hey my friends, welcome back to Rosie's Creative Wings and I'm coming to you with a collective haul that I want to share with you. Um, so, a few things coming from some stores in my neighborhood and a few things from Amazon and a few, thi and a few things from, well, one thing from Hobby Lobby. Um, so yeah, here I go. I'm going to start with, um, also got like one thing from... Dollar Tree and um, I think one thing from Etsy as well. So anyway, I'm going to start with this here, which is coming from my favorite store here in my neighborhood. And I was able to get some um, Christmas bags, which um, I needed because I do have a few gifts that I need to start um, putting in bags. And so... Um, I do wrap some gifts, and but this year I decided that most of the gifts are going to go in bags if I can do that. So I found this little pack right here of these cute little bags with the craft paper, um, the brown paper bag. And these were six gift bags for $2.19, which is not bad at all. And I'm just going to take this off because I just wanted to take a look at them. And this one says Warm Wishes with the aluminum or the red there okay so it's like shiny on one side and then like that warm wishes that one has the snowflakes this one has the most wonderful time of the year these are pretty cute uh, this one says merry christmas this one says let it snow very cute and this one says december 25th this was a steal for these. So these bring six. And whatever I don't save for this year, I'll put it away for next year. So I found those. And then these were the bigger ones. These were three in a pack. I already used one. Look how nice they are. Same thing. Packed by elves. That's cute. That was three for 219. And sadly, that store that I'm that I purchased these from, they're actually closing, and I'm so bummed. So by the ending of January, they're gonna be closing. And I did ask, are you guys closing, or are you guys moving somewhere else? Because if they are, I would definitely try to get to the store. But he said um, they couldn't find a location, so for now they're closing. So I'm like so bummed. Um, so I found this one too. Cute. This one here I love with the glitter. <clears throat> this one here. This one here. Super cute. And then I found the bigger ones. This one is the same but it has glitter on one side. And this one I thought was really cute with the penguins. And then the bigger ones. <clears throat> here I just got two of these this one has like a felt like these right here they're felt that's really pretty look at the deer so I just got two of those the same let me put this aside so um, let me see what I'm going to start with so let me start with the Amazon stuff so I did um, purchase my glues. I'm down to just one left, and so I had to get the glues that I used for collage. So I purchased a pack of these. They were like six something. That was good. Then I purchased more um, oil pastels, <clears throat> which I'm just going to open this real quick. I just want to see what they look like. Um, I did already purchase... Um, a set of pastels not too long ago that I showed but those pastels are good the only thing is they're only like um pastel colors and so I needed something a little bit brighter even though I have these old ones here these are the pencil ones these are the most probably the most affordable ones that you can buy on Amazon and I had these for a really long time and they're not bad but I wanted to get something a little bit better. And so I got the Ruben, um, I forgot what they 
bottles. Ruben something uh, oil pastels. Um, and so those were only pastel colors, like light colors. Let me see if I can find them. So, I'm sorry, the Paul Rubin. The Paul Rubin ones, these, which are good, but they only um, had like light colors. Like the colors are pretty, but they're light. So I need like bright colors too. So I'll be using these as well. Um, so I decided to get the Mount Mar A on Marte uh, oil pastels. Oh, look nice. So it has the colors here. And you see they have like the darker colors. Like the darker browns and the darker blues and the purples and the reds and stuff like that, you see? The other ones, they were all like mainly light colors, so... So these are really pretty. Yes, so I'm happy with those. And then um, I also found these, same brand, but these are the floral ones. And so I can use these for mixed media, of course. And I don't know if you guys seen my, um, I've been working on coloring pages um, this coloring book that I downloaded oh these are really pretty look at that look at those colors those are really pretty colors um, so I've been um, I did only one page so far but I downloaded a digital um, coloring book but I do want to start coloring, um, getting practice. So I did this one here. I mean, I showed this one in one of my shorts. Um, so this is one of the, one of his, um, beautiful images. His name is Aska, um, geez, my mind. Howden. Scott Howden. And he has the most beautiful images. And so, of course, this is a copy I printed out. And I painted it. And so, um, I want to use pastels as well. I did a little bit of pastel. So, in this one, I did I used all types of things. So, I used acrylic paint. I used um, pastels. I used uh, watercolor markers. <clears throat> I used um, my acrylic pens. I used... Um, uh, what was it? I used my uh, glitter, my shimmer uh, paints. So I used a whole ton of different mediums for this. And so um, I'm going to be doing an another one soon. And I want to get this so that it can be a part of that. So I use most of my mediums for this. Um, I mean, everything. So this is one, and I'm really excited about that. I love painting. So I do that behind the scenes when I'm not recording and I'm really enjoying it. So that was my first one, but I'm going to do another one soon. And so that's why I wanted to get this. Um, so then I'm going to continue with the um, Amazon things. <clears throat> I purchased this glue gun. So I did have a glue gun. Um, that I did a review on my channel. Um, I did, uh, they sent it to me free for the review. I did a review, but that gun actually gave out on me. I think I used it for the review, and I think I tried using it once before I used it. I think I, it was the third time using it, and it failed on me, so. Um... Yeah, I had to get a new one. And then I also had a Sure Bond, the one that I had purchased from Amazon, and it also died on me. So I don't know what it is, these glue guns. But um, I refuse to spend a lot of money on a glue gun because for some reason I don't have any luck with them. So I just bought this one. This one was $8. I think it was $8. Uh, 
Um, not too expensive. It's not like a fancy one, as you can see. But um, I don't need a fancy one. I just wanted to get a glue gun. And so this one has the button that you can turn it on. It's 40 watts, it says. But what I liked about this one is that it has a stand. I was going to track me because it had the stand and it was eight something. So I did get it during Black Friday. So it might have been cheaper because um, of the Black Friday sales, you know. So let me see. Am I doing this? So this goes like this, right? Yeah. So you would put it in here, right? And then we'll do it like that. And that's what I liked about it. So not bad for eight dollars. And it has a suction. Oh, that's awesome. So it doesn't move. And yeah, I don't care that it's not wireless because honestly the other two that I had were wireless and they didn't work at all. So I don't really care. I'd rather have it wired. And then I like the button here. You could just turn it on and turn it off. And it does have the light here. So I don't have to worry about charging it. So yeah, that one's pretty okay. And then it comes with, I'm assuming it's like 20 glue sticks. And then it comes with the glitter sticks. Uh, it has 10. And then this here, oh, this is part of this right here. Just slip it in. There it goes. So I can just keep it like that. Um, and I did buy some extra glues here. These are really short though, but they're the same size. They're just shorter. Um, these were the AdTech. I bought two of them. I mean, I act like I used the glue gun so much, but. Probably I'll, maybe I'll use it more often now that I have one. So I'm going to put this right back in. I love that it has these suction. Um, and then it has this little rubber uh, part here where it grabs the glue and you can just peel it off. So yeah, I like that. Perfect. Oh, you know how tight this is? Okay, so... Purchase that. And I'm going to just put the glue back. Okay, so I purchased that. Um, glue stick. Let me put this back in here. found these little um actually i found this in the same store where i bought the bags a uh, little uh stick it little um stockings and it has the green in the, back, in the back too so you can actually use these as um like uh gift tags it's super cute then let's see what else oh this is still from amazon so i ordered these um these are the signal uniball white pens um so i had these back in the day and they weren't that great but i re-bought them to see if they improved because i do need white pens um now that i'm doing um the um coloring on adult this adult image because even though i did the whites with acrylic paint I can still do that, but I wanted to see if I can use the white, uh, the white pens too. The only thing with the white pens is that they're um, acrylic paint. So these pens, if you use them, you gotta make sure that you use them last, and that you're not gonna go over your art with anything, any other medium, because these will smear. And that's why I thought I wasn't too crazy about them. So, um, I did use my acrylic markers, 
which are these here with pens and they stay better but um i still wanted to get a set of these so i don't know i don't think i'm going to use them for my coloring pages but i just wanted to have them so i bought three in a pack um then i bought this and this is drawing mechanical pencil set um, and the reason why i bought this is because um for those coloring images um once you paint them and all you need to outline once you're done painting and doing everything in the highlighting and everything in the shot and the shading you need to be able to bring out the image and so you need to outline but i did outline mine with um like with a dark pen and sometimes i don't like the way it looks with the dark with the pen even though this one came out nice sometimes i don't like to use the black pen i rather use something that's a little bit smoother than a black pen and so i want to try these pencils here so i don't know this is my first time buying this brand it says smttw and so these are supposed to be the pencils and so you're supposed to be able to click here and the pencil comes out but there's no lead in it i guess i have to put the lead in it and they have the um okay so you can tell so this is 2b 4b 6b and 8b i guess it depends on the darkness the light and darkness of the lead and then also the uh like the soft and the hardness of the lead as well and then here are the leads that go inside and this is supposed to be a little um sharpener this is the reason why i actually selected this one see the hole is really small especially for that lead and it's a sharpener so it has two of them and these are the lead um and then i think oh this is an eraser oh that's cool things an eraser so i'm definitely going to be using these these are probably really good also to put shade and stuff so yeah i'm going to set these up and i'm going to use these so the leads are not sharpened and then this is made to sharpen the lead so let's see how these work out and keep them in their case these are really nice these from Hobby Lobby and so I have purchased a set two sets of these uh, these are the Delta um, create uh, ceramic coat acrylic paints and I have purchased two sets of the bright colors and another set I think they were the pastels if i'm not mistaken and they were missing colors so i did have like two i think there were 18 18 of these each set and so I, that's why i got rid of my all of my other paints and um i wanted to get like new ones and these are the original paints that i started crafting with like doing my mixed media with and so i these are always my go-to paints but I wanted to get a better brand than the ones that I had there, which I have for so many years. And so I cleaned out my drawers and got rid of most of them. And that's why I did the giveaway, the stash giveaway um, challenge uh, thingy. So I could just give them away and not throw them out. And so that is where most of them went. And so these are the colors that those um, sets did not have. So this one is Territorial Beige. I wanted to get more of the blues because it did have blue, but it had, I think, 
one or two blues. This one is denim blue, leaf green. <clears throat> this one is forest green. Uh, this one is tawny medium, kind of like a flesh peachy color. This one is turquoise. I think I already have this one in the other one, but I, for some reason I ordered it again, but that's okay. I love turquoise. That's a beautiful color. That's the family of the blues. This one I definitely didn't have, ta Tahiti Blue. This one is Dalo Blue. And then this one is Candid Coral. That's pretty. So this one could go here like with this peachy color. This one is Wedge Wood Green. I didn't have any grays. This is like a grayish taupe. This this one says deep taupe. But it looks more like a grayish for some reason. And then this one is straw pale. That's a yellowish. That's pretty. And then <coughs> um, this one is bamboo. That's pretty beige color. This one is raw sienna. Nice. So this goes like with the brownish colors. This one's the greens. This one's the blues. Brownish green. We'll put those there. Um, then I have sea foam. That's pretty. I like the sea foam. Very, very pretty. This is more like a green. This goes into the green family. It has like a hint of blue and green together. This one is brown iron oxide. Nice dark brown. This one is boysenberry. So this is like a really dark wine purple, which I like. This one is tomate, tom, tomate red, which I have the bright red, but I want it like a darker red. And then this one is tropic bay blue. Kind of a little bit lighter, kind of like in the same, but just much lighter, very pretty. And then last one is watermelon, watermelon. So this is different than the red and different than this one so i purchased all of those i gotta put those in my drawer so i'm just gonna put everything back so i can put them in my drawer organize them with the rest of the paints and so these paints turned out to be really really good um, okay uh, that. Then um, I have purchased these through, I think it was eBay. And they just came not too long ago. I purchased these such a long time ago. It's probably because, of course, it comes from China. So it, it, it probably took longer than a month. So look how pretty these are. They were very cheap, though. Good for, um, of course, journals and things like that. So I got that one. I also got that one in black. Um, but I received the black one earlier. And then this one's a really pretty mint light um, light green. Really pretty. Um, let's see what else I got. Uh, oh, one more thing I got to show you. Well, two more things I got to show you. I'm just going to put these in my little bin. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, and then um, I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday mainly to pick up a baby bag, gift bag that I needed uh, for my coworker, And so... Oh my god, guys, there were so many Christmas, like, decorations and the plaques and 
so many nice things it's crazy how my Dollar Tree never has anything and this time it was like packed with Christmas things like all the wood pieces beautiful pieces the Nomi pieces oh my god it was packed 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 and guess what I didn't take not one crafting not one crafting but I did take this and this was like the little um gift tags it brings 18 I thought it was so cute so I just took this and look how cute they are and they're like little cards let me see I'm gonna show you one but you can make these into tiny all you gotta do is make like an envelope it says gift tags but yeah I guess you can but I don't know I see them more as little um like little they look like a little um what do you call it the um twinchies the size but they're like a little card See? super cute and you can just make a little card and write a little something in it and do, you, do, use it like that as well so i thought these were so cute so i just took this this is the only thing i took that was crafty you believe that i ha really had self-control but i did buy like other things like um some snacks and things like that but the only thing crafty that i took was this so that was it for the dollar tree um yeah so let me see there's one more thing that i want to share let me put this on here um so this right here i had ordered it in um on etsy this i had it for a while now uh, probably about three weeks so I ordered these from Etsy and these are the 13 Arts um, paper packs which I really like the 13 Arts paper pack. I, um, 13, yeah, 13 Arts paper pack. Um, I had one of these packs that I've been saving for a very long time and I recently used it and I love the paper. I didn't want to like use it because I didn't know that I could find another one like it. And then I found, um, I just went for 13 Arts. I went into Amazon for 13 Arts. And then I went into, um, I went to Walmart to see if they had it. And then, I don't, I don't think Amazon had, I think it had like one or two. And they were overpriced. And then I finally found it on Etsy. And this one person, I don't know what her name is. So I went back into my history, the store. She had a lot of the 13 arts, and these were six something each, so I thought it was a steal. So I was able to find, and well, she had more than three, but these are the ones that I wanted the most, so I took them. But I'm gonna go back into her store and see if I could find more. Look how nice this is! It's more like my style, like I don't know, I just like it. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. These don't bring a lot of paper, this one brings, um six pieces double-sided but I just like them I can even use this part here look how pretty this is that's gorgeous and you get close you see that there that's gorgeous and it's double-sided look how pretty that's one get this one here very very pretty look at this side how pretty is that look at the colors that's gorgeous very pretty look at this one oh my goodness look at the little fox look at the butterflies how gorgeous is that gorgeous look at this side Color is so pretty, and this is all watercolor. That's so pretty. Look at this one! Wow, gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. Rustic. That rustic look, I love it. The colors, yellow. Look at this one. I hope the camera's picking up the colors because they're so pretty beautiful look at this one wow that's gorgeous 
And look at this one here. That's really nice. Beautiful. And then lastly is this one here. Gorgeous. This is a gorgeous set. And this is the back part here. Look at the flowers, how pretty. Beautiful. So that's one set. This one, it has six of them. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I love it. If you want me to link her store down below, I'll be glad to, I'll be glad to do that. I mean, I just don't remember her name off the top of my head. That's one. And then there's this one. This one is called Back in Time. This one is called End of Summer. End of Summer. This one is called Back in Time. And this one has eight. This one brings two extra. Oh, that's pretty. A little tight even this cover here is oh this is a pad then okay yeah so look at that one oh that's pretty that's gorgeous look at that oh look at that one right there it has like that bluish black that I love wow that's gorgeous look at that one here this one you can definitely cut pieces out of it for a junk journal. Really nice. Look at this one here. Love that. Love that. I can definitely do something like this too. I love that. Look at the butterflies. Some of them are like faded. It has some writing over here. So pretty. Look at this one here. Even more lighter. Gorgeous. Look at that one. Oh, look at that color. So pretty. This one here. That's gorgeous. Look at the butterflies here. Another one of those papers here. Is it the same? Let me see. That's the first one. It's not okay similar but not the same look at the black one here beautiful more butterflies you have this one here and with the goldish color and then oh my goodness and then you have this one here with rustic beautiful here's another one of that first one I think the colors are different let me see yeah same, but the colors are different. Yep. And lastly is the back one that you can cut out. Love it. Love, love, love it. And these were all the same price, even though this one brings eight sheets. And they were all the same. I think she got up a sale. Six. It was six something each packet. And I just broke the freaking bag. I'm going to keep them in the bag because I don't want them to get dirty. Let me see if I can put it back in. These bags are so tight. They should make they should make them with a little bit of wiggle room. You can put them right back in. Okay. And then this one is called Bella. Beja in Spanish. Means beautiful. Oh, this one is so pretty. And this one has six pieces. That's really pretty. You know, honestly, I like the loose parts better than the... Um, pad even though I can just take it apart myself but I really like uh, I prefer the loose papers actually 
look how pretty this is oh my goodness and then that blue door oh my god my favorite color that's just gorgeous do you see that look at this one here it looks like the white house or the capitol and it has those beautiful flowers there gorgeous look at this one oh my goodness wow that one too beautiful faded colors look at this one so pretty love those faint like colors that's gorgeous here's another one beautiful every single one of them Beautiful. Look at the blotches. See the blotches? Pink blotches. It's beautiful. Right up my alley. Look at the um the bike. Pretty. Here's another door. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. I love the doors. Look at that. Look at this. Beautiful colors. Everything, all of them gorgeous. And lastly, this one that you can cut out. Look at the car. Beautiful. Yeah, and I think this is it, guys. Yeah. So this was my share of my collective purchases um, I hope you guys enjoy the video I do have um, another video that I'm gonna record soon let me put some tape on there Yes, my friends, um, um, thank you for stopping by. I hope you liked everything I showed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you find if there's anything that you want me to link down below, just let me know and I'll do that for you. Um, but thank you for stopping by, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, okay? Bye bye.